Hey y'all, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I am back for St. Patrick's Day and I have a St. Patrick's Day tag. I actually found one online and I'll link the girl's channel down below so you can uh, check out hers. I think it was from last year or something, but there's a tag for everything out there. So let's get started with my shirt. I showed it in my St. Patrick's Day makeup collab, but it says, pinch me and I'll punch you. This is me 100% because in high school, I was an obstinate little shit and I wouldn't wear any green because I have green eyes and I'll say you pinch me and I'll punch you <laughs> but I wear it now you know I was just being obstinate little shit you know I was a teenager but um I want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day don't forget to wear your green because you don't want to be pinched but don't punch anybody you don't want to go to jail now <laughs> but um I'm uh I've uh told you my St. Patrick's Day makeup collab that I am half hours from my dad's side um and I do have a tattoo on my left foot it's of a clotta and it's I have it posted on Instagram I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see that with a glare or anything but that's on the, my left foot right above my toes it's the two hands holding the heart with the crown on it and no that was my first tattoo and no it didn't hurt <laughs> I, I mean it hurt the next day a little bit um, and then the next day I hurt a little bit more as it was healing but when I got it I actually fell asleep when he was doing it um, but I only have two tattoos and the one on my foot is for my dad and the one on my arm It's also posted on Instagram. I'm not sure where at but it says everything happens for a reason I don't know if y'all can see that Got a bracelet in the way there Everything happens for a reason. My mom used to say that all the time. So after she passed away, I got that and um, The one for my dad. I got that for my dad in honor of him Okay Let's go ahead and get started with the questions. The first question, uh, it starts with, what is your favorite shade of green? My favorite shade of green is actually this, bright green. I love bright green. It, I don't know why, it is just my favorite shade of green, I guess, because it just, I love bright colors and bright green is almost as bright as you can get. And I just love it. Um, what is your favorite green makeup item? I do have a few. My first two, first two are from MAC. And the first one is the MAC Chartreuse Pigment. Looks like that. And that's what I have on this part of my eye right here. I've always loved this pigment. I just think it is so dang pretty. These things are so hard to get out, these little bitty jars sometimes. And of course, you know, you can wet your brush with Fix Plus or uh, whatever you have. But that's chartreuse to make it more intense. And the next one I wore on my St. Patrick's Day collab, it's Max Lucky Green. That's what it looks like. It's a real pretty yellow gold. It's a little bit darker than the chartreuse, I would say right next to it they kind of blend in together sorry about that guys but it's this one right here kind of very similar <laughs> that's me though and my other two are the uh, wet and wild palettes the one the first one is the six pan palette and both of these were hard as hell for me to find and when I found them I snatched them up I should have grabbed backups because I love every color on both of these I mean, they're bright, bold. They just jump out at you. The first one is the California Roll. Love this. It is just, oh God, it's, it's just so gorgeous. This green right here. It's got a little bit of glitter in it. Is that right there? It is just so pretty. But that's California Roll. Love it. And the other one is Temporary Solutions this big bold thing right here this one broke like almost like a week after I had it it just crumbled I don't know why but I don't wear it that often anyway but I love the oranges I love the greens my favorite are these two right here I have the center one right here kind of on the outside with a little bit of the uh, mermaid uh, teal color there it's so pretty it's so blendable and this has got not so much glitter in it as a shimmer to it. The uh, the middle green one I just showed you. Whew. 
it's right there that's the middle green one and that's the teal one right there the mermaid colors I like to call it the only thing about these things is they have bad fallout but my god are they pigmented because we know what and wild products are pigmented okay let's go to the next question what is your favorite green nail polish I have three my first one is by sinful colors and it's called San Francisco it's this real pretty color it's kind of a to me it's kind of a uh, I guess you'd say a Christmas green almost it's a real dark and has a little bit of shimmer to it and why do I feel like I have something on my lip oh my gosh that drives me nuts and the other one is from the wet n wild furby line and this one is in glow stick which is an accurate name because it's a very bright green like that is my favorite color green right there I love that and the other is a glitter polish this is one of my other favorite brands of nail polish you can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply it's uh, by Nina Ultra Pro uh, English Nita English Nina Ultra Pro Salon Formula Nail Lacquer and this one is an electric slide is so pretty and it just when it's an electric slide reminds me of being a you know growing up in the 80s and doing the electric slide not yes I'm that old <laughs> okay and your favorite green eyeshadow and eyeliner I just showed you the two palettes but my favorite green eyeshadow is the Mac um, lucky green I used to have three of these this is my last one I need to go get another one just so I have another backup in case they ever discontinue it because we know Mac likes to discontinue stuff and my favorite eyeliners is um, Max Forever Green. And this is one of their PowerPoint eye pencils. I don't know if they still make this, guys. I, uh, I'll have to check and see. It's a dark olive green. It's, it's real pretty. I bought, and I do have that somewhat on my lower lash line today. And the other one is just a new purchase. It's the e.l.f. Shimmer Eyeliner uh, Pencil. The one with this sharpener on the end. And this is more of an emerald green. Real, real pretty. And I have that also on my lower lash line. It's right there. Kind of a teal. Kind of like that mermaid green right there. Love it. Love both of them. Um, what is your favorite green makeup packaging? MAC again. And I've had these, oh my gosh, forever, guys. I, I can't even tell you how long I've had these. I just keep them because I love the packaging so much. This is the uh, Jewel uh, Six Pan. It has MAC. And it has a teal green. It's still green to me. It's a teal green and has MAC with uh, it's bejeweled on there. And it was real pretty neutral. And it had that real pretty mermaid. Par and in the, co the color is Parrot. But I got it for that. But I used the heck out of the neutrals out of it. But I just keep it for nostalgic reasons because it was my uh, first palette from MAC. And here was my second one. And this is just gorgeous. This is um, Delights. It's another six six pan trend, uh, six eyeshadow in Delights. It has like an oriental design on the front and it's kind of, it's cushioned. It's just so pretty until it's been kind of beat up. And I do have them, you know, I set them out. I'm one of those girls that has to display, you know, real pretty packaging. I'm a packaging person. But it did have a real pretty green in it up here. And, I mean, every color in here was beautiful. I used the two neutrals out of it. And I used the heck out of the, uh, ye the yellow gold one and the green one out of it. It's real pretty. And that blue is a real pretty also. But I, lo uh, I loved these when I first got them and used the heck out of them. And now I just keep, I keep them for nostalgic reasons. And what is your favorite green item of clothing? I do have a couple. Let me grab them. First is my belt. And this is the only belt I own outside of a um, kind of brownish, almost black uh, belt. That looks like this. This has the regular ends, but I like the uh, studs on it. I thought it was really cool. And bright green just spoke to me. You know that. <laughs> And then I just got these two shirts when I got all that makeup at Kmart. They had these marked down too. And I've worn the, uh, these in a couple of videos. This is by Joe Boxer. It's got lace on the uh, sleeves right here. And also the sides are lace cut out too. I don't know if y'all can see that. Real pretty. Real pretty darker green. And I adore this shirt here. I saw it 
and it's um, this one is by the Jacqueline Smith collection the reason I got this one was the uh, I don't know if y'all can see the sleeves on the shoulders have zippers on them I just thought they were it was just so pretty and it's so pretty on I really love it okay and what is your uh, favorite green food or drink and drink my favorite green food I like pretty much any vegetable uh, green vegetable broccoli cabbage uh, turnip greens you know just you name it I like it <laughs> now drink uh, I don't really I don't drink alcohol anymore back in the day I would have say a margarita but now my favorite green drink would either be the uh, Mountain Dew Icy or um, the Gatorade Gatorade now has one it's a cucumber flavored one and it's actually pretty pretty good it's real refreshing so I'd say those are my favorite green drinks now um what is your favorite random green thing you own I have a couple of things let's start with the kitchen stuff I have a lot of green kitchen stuff but I wanted to photo show you a couple of things because I love to cook so I have to have my husband bought me a lot of green stuff what this is is when you cut up vegetables and stuff on the cutting board and you just it helps you scrape it into the into this and you can put it in your pot or your bowl or whatever that's what this is for and I just I had to have it my husband's like held it up and said you want it and I was like oh yeah you know I do and this other thing is a, a green spatula it's already been kind of beat up this is real good for uh, spreading icing on cakes or uh, peanut butter on sandwiches and stuff like that or mayonnaise or stuff like that it's real good for that and yes it's bright green <laughs> you know I had to have it and the other stuff these were um, two ornaments I found at Christmas but I just thought they were so pretty and I actually keep them up here in my room this one right here is just like a little flower with some a uh, little bit ornaments on it kind of looks like a poinsettia flower and then this butterfly here I just thought was so pretty it has the um, red gemstone in the middle of it I just thought it was so pretty I just had to have it and I realized I left out two, um, also another random, I don't know if they got glitter on them and it's going everywhere. Glitter bomb, glitter bomb. <laughs> and my stylus is bright green. Gotta have a green stylus. And makeup packaging also, I forgot about these two. My Revo and Chocolate Mint from my Christmas collection. And this is, looks like a macaroon. But it's actually a lip gloss on the inside. I got it at Walgreens that looks like a little macaroon and I have it sitting over here I have a, a pink one also that looks like that sitting over there so I'd say those are my favorite random green things that I own do you wear green on St. Patrick's Day yes now I do like I said I used to not and I would you know I dare people to pinch me but I do now because I love green green is my favorite color so I got I take the opportunity to wear as much green as possible as you can see <laughs> and let's see what do you do if you see someone that is not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day? I don't do anything unless it's my husband. I'll pinch him and he's the only person. <laughs> you know, I, I, I respect people's personal space. Let's put it that way. Don't just go up and pinch somebody and say, Oh, you ain't wearing green. Don't use that as an excuse. Respect people's personal space. Now, your husband or maybe your best friend or something, yeah. You know, playfully. But other than that, no, I don't pinch people. I just remind them that they should be wearing green <laughs> and let's see and the last question is what was your best uh, St. Patrick's Day that you remember we really don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day I mean we'll you know not go out to eat or something like that but other than that we really don't so I'd have to say this one is my best St. Patrick's Day because this is my first year on YouTube I've only been on here about a month now and I'm really loving it and so I wanted to do something to, you know, mark St. Patrick's Day and uh, celebrate it since I am part Irish and I'm part Native American also. And I just wanted to, you know, celebrate it. So I'd say this is my best St. Patrick's Day. But I tag all y'all to do this if you would like to. Um, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll leave all the questions down below also if you'd like to do this. 
um like subscribe if you like and thank you for stopping by happy happy thanks happy happy saint patrick's day me and english today <laughs> happy saint patrick's day guys